she's unconscious, but alive. Just like the other members of the outpost? Yes. That grace-based entity didn't kill them, just manipulated them like puppets. These parasitic grace-based entities represent a whole new threat to humanity. They're clearly much more difficult to defend against than classic entities. We have to pass on the news immediately to headquarters. What should we do about this muddy one? Eliminate it, or bring it back for Lyra's team to study? We'll bring it back. It's an extremely valuable specimen. Tianlong, can I leave the safe handling of that thing to you? I'd rather... Uh... What about Umi? The gray space entity has left her body, but... Is she back to normal? I think that... she should be alright. Ow! Uh... Where... am I? Umi? You're awake! Huh? Who are... <gasps> Officer Lin! Officer Lin! District 7 Executor in Training Umi reporting! Just call me Lin. Umi, what do you remember of the last several hours? Uh, the last thing I remember is... Um, I was training? Training? No, I was on patrol. Yes, patrol! So, she doesn't remember. Actually, a gray space entity had taken control of your body. Caused us no small inconvenience, by the way. There's no need to intimidate her. She's just as much a victim of the Gray Space entities as any other members of the outpost. And I'm sure they need a thorough medical check. We should head back. Huh? But what about this mess here? And shouldn't we be heading to the tunnels to go to Innis? Headquarters can send someone and fix up the outpost. In terms of the tunnels, they haven't been used for quite some time. It's hard to say if they're even still serviceable. I think we should head back to Headquarters and discuss the next step. Alright then, as you say. You've brought back a very valuable specimen, a new kind of parasitic gray space entity we've never seen. It will be immensely helpful to Dr. Clive and his research. Apart from Umi herself, I think it's likely other members of Outpost 10 also fell under the gray space entity's control. I recommend putting them into isolation for observation. Okay, I'll arrange it. But unfortunately, our current technology has no way of identifying if someone was under control of one of these parasitic gray space entities. Parasites can hide themselves well within their host. When Umi was parasitized, I couldn't detect any gray space entity signals inside her body. We would have all been deceived if Miss Lin hadn't noticed what was wrong with her. Perhaps we can have Dr. Rubilia take a look at them. Right. Rubilia might be able to identify controlled individuals quickly. My main concern is that there may be more insidious, longer-term parasitic effects at play. Also, I'm worried that... I understand. I'm sure that Umi and her colleagues are not the first humans to come under parasitic control. Our best bet right now is to keep the whole affair as low-key as possible. We wouldn't want to start a panic. Archon Larson has already ordered an urgent investigation into this new species of gray space entity, but determining its exact capabilities and what other effects it may have could be a lengthy process. You can leave those questions with us, Lin. 
Archon Larson has another mission for you. He wants us to go to Ennis through the tunnels? Yes. Right now, whatever is happening to Ennis is our highest priority. Since the Miasmic Swamp base stations are out of action for the time being, the deep sea tunnels are the only way to get there. But the tunnel network is a real labyrinth, and we can't discount the possibility of gray space entities or other dangerous creatures lurking within. You're going to need someone familiar with the tunnel's layout. I can guide you. Greetings. I'm Icarus. Operation codename? Mook. Mr. Icarus. Lyra. Lynn. Icarus. You're back? Yes. Archon Elric asked me to assist as soon as he heard of the issues surrounding Vera. And you are the Executor and Miss Shirley, correct? Greetings. I'm Icarus. Operation codename, Mook. Mook? You're the leader of the Mook Squad? Uh, yes. Icarus and his squad had been posted to Innis for quite some time, so you've never had the opportunity to meet until now. And I'm afraid I'd be stuck in Innis too, if I hadn't been ordered back to District 9. You don't seem too worried about Innis's situation. Shiro had detected an anomalous change in the ocean environment several days ago, so we'd asked Archon Fiona to make preparations before this incident developed. I'm confident that Ines will remain safe, even if they've lost contact with Mororia for now. Icarus, you were just saying you could guide us? So exactly how familiar are you with the tunnels? Archon Fiona once showed me the blueprints of the entire tunnel network, and I also carried out a few simple exploration missions there in the past. You can trust me to be your guide. All right then. I'll leave re-establishing contact with Innes to you, Lin, the Executor, and Shirley. Archon Larson needs Tian Long to stay in Miroria to handle another urgent matter. Okay, then we should go as soon as we're ready. 